Hello everyone, my name is Silver Willowing and welcome. Today we're gonna take a look at the new How to Train Your Dragon The Hidden World trailer and we're gonna try to break it down so we get an overall idea of the timeline and the plot that's gonna be happening in the movie. So for starters I have broken the trailer down into a timeline uh, where I have predicted which events will occur in chronological order. So we're gonna take a look at that uh, and some predictions might be wrong because then again I don't know what the movie is gonna be like but this is how I think it's gonna play out. Some events might be switched around but this is just the overall thing. So I'm gonna walk you through it right now and we get an overall quick idea of what the plot is gonna be. So we get a flashback first seeing Hiccup and Toothless first bonding from the first movie. Then we see them flying, and we see something from the second movie as well. Just a little recap. We fast forward and see Burke thriving with all these dragons living in paradise, pretty much. The fallout of the second movie. Then Toothless runs off. Somehow they discover this new area where the Light Fury first appears. And Toothless is the first to make contact with it. He's very enthusiastic, but she's scared off by Astrid, as it seems. He's very upset about this and tries to find her as she teleports away. She later re-emerge and they get to meet once again. Toadless is being extremely awkward about it and possibly very nervous since he's never met a night here before, so he tries his best to woo her, but it's not very successful. Hiccup tries to give him advice, but it does not work out. And ultimately Light Fury is pretty scared of him. But eventually she gives in and takes him to the Hidden World. Hiccup and Astrid follows him and they discover this Hidden World while riding Stormfly. Grimmel is introduced and he explains how he has hunted Night Furies down and Hiccup of course is hostile towards this. And a fight begins where Grimmel captures the Light Fury and they have to rescue her. So a rescue mission begins, Hiccup and the gang goes to fight Grimmel and get back the Light Fury. They are ultimately successful but there is some complications and eventually the Light Fury has to save Toothless, which she does. Hiccup tells his village of the dangers and explains how they have to disappear. The final battle begins and Burke is attacked. Toothless has to defend his home together with Hiccup. And Toothless is flying on his own. Here we have the goodbye, where Hiccup and Astrid are saying goodbye. Then we have a fast forward where Toothless meets up with Hiccup again and shows him his family. And that is pretty much the gist of it. And the one thing you probably noticed was at the end I said he shows him his family. To me this last shot, which I'm pretty sure that these two shots are gonna happen in the same amount of time. It does indeed look like Toothless is turning around to expect something to fly up and something he wants to show Hiccup and Hiccup slowly moves closer and looks and then he smiles. So I am predicting that this is Toothless coming back to visit him and showing him the family he has built with the Light Fury. However, there's also a possibility that they have just been together this whole time because Hiccup does mention that we all have to disappear. But this kind of contradicts with what he says at the beginning, when I was a boy there were dragons. Where they went, only a few know. Like, they are separated, like there were dragons, but they're not here anymore, or at least not together with them. But again, it, it could be misleading us. There's a possibility that they're all gonna go into hiding and Hiccup will still be with Toothless. Uh, but there's also a possibility that he will not be and that they will be separated, similar to what happens in the books. There might be some events that I have listed up here that's going to happen differently. The appearance of the Light Fury, I'm kind of confused about when exactly and how that's going to happen, because it seems strange if she would just randomly appear somewhere after Hiccup has been searching for one for years and years and years. Uh, but I do believe that Toothless and Hiccup get separated and Toothless goes with the Light Fury and that's why Hiccup is riding Stormfly in that one scene. Uh, I think that's very plausible and I think there's going to be more showdowns with Grimmel since the lighting is so um, drastically different uh, from shot to shot. We have a setting in kind of dawnish, a red uh, tone to the sky, then we have kind of cloudy with the um, lightning going on and then we have a sunny day, like just clear skies and uh, clouds around. So it seems like there's three different times. Uh, the last two times could blend into each other. like it's clear skies and then the storm comes and Toothless unlocks his potential 
uh, as a lightning <laughs> wielder, uh, really. So one thing that's interesting about that, now that I'm talking about it, is that Toothless does appear to have his left tail fin uh, as he is uh, lighting up, which is something very interesting and kind of curious because it looks very black but then again Hiccup could have made a black one for him that's just really hard to see if Toothless is gonna grow out his tail fin because of something in that hidden world maybe the light fairy has some sort of healing abilities you can also teleport and stuff like that um, I'm, I'm, I really hope not because that was what kind of was special about Toothless that he was crippled that was his weakness but he kind of you know rose above it and made it work uh, either way um, so I think that's important for him to keep that uh, and then again it is a very um, you know mushy image we can't really tell exactly the details of what's going on so I'm not gonna go much into that it is a possibility but it could also just be that Hiccup made a new stronger tail thing for him out of his own scales so that it is fireproof because Hic Hiccup has also made an armor out of two of the scales so that he can walk in fire. Hiccup is pretty much fireproof at, at this point. Um, let's talk a little bit about the Light Fury and her teleportation skill. I think it's a really interesting skill. When I saw it first I was like, are you, are you kidding me? This is impossible. That's crazy. Um, but the more I think about it is that she shoots out uh, her fire and then she kind of jumps through it almost like a wormhole or a black hole so to speak. And if we look at these things in real life, a black hole is often created when a sun dies. When a sun explodes, the gravity of the sun pulls everything in, creating a black hole. And the temperature required for a sun to explode is supernova. The sun goes supernova, it's extremely hot. So I am thinking if this night fury, sorry, light fury has uh, such a hot fire she can literally burn through space and time and create a temporary black hole that she then jumps through and reappears somewhere else the fact that she can control where she appears is a little bit more um, fantasy based rather than science it's all fantasy based but if we have to put logic behind it uh, but she could just have such a great understanding of, of black holes so to speak and she could you know teleport like that I'm kind of open for that idea because dragons are magical creatures and I think it's a pretty cool thing because it can be somewhat related to something we know from real life, from space. Um, so she seems to be a really powerful dragon or at least a very cunning and smart dragon and this teleportation skill also could be the reason why she has survived for so long without being captured or attacked or anything because she's very smooth looking, she doesn't have any scars, she looks very very unharmed and that could simply be, be because she's so elusive and she can just jump from uh, location to location. Uh, so I think she's an overall really interesting dragon. She's an interesting character and I can't wait to learn more about her. Grimmel is probably gonna come into play uh, as the bond between Truth and the Light Fury grows since the Light Fury is captured. So possibly the Grimmel is going after the Light Fury. He does mention that he wants to kill Toothless because he has haunted every Night Fury. He probably has reasons for that. Maybe Night Fury's attacked his village or something similar to Drago. Maybe he's just evil, you know, maybe he just likes to kill Night Furies. I'm, I'm not sure. There's probably gonna be an explanation for that. But he definitely captures the Light Fury and I'm pretty sure they're gonna release her and then he, they're gonna prepare for the final battle. Um, there's gonna be two segments, similar to the second movie where Drago first attacks the Sanctuary and then he attacks Burke. Again, it's very, the similarities between this and the second movie are pretty, pretty um, prominent, which makes me worry a little bit because I, I mean, repetition is always something risky to do because we've already seen it. I think Tubulus is going to be flying a lot on his own in this movie since he has to kind of keep up with the light fear and hiccup things it's unfair that he can't so he possibly creates a new fin for him so he can fly off uh, better on his own and um, that's also gonna be how he can eventually be set free so to speak and live with the light fury which is a very strong possibility I don't think any of them are gonna die hiccup or toothless I think they're safe. Uh, there was a bit of speculation where they're gonna die, but I think they're safe now. And Truth is just gonna be with the Light Fury, and Hiccup is gonna be with Astrid. 
and they could be separated like that. They could also stay together, who knows? I mean, it is it is how to train your dragon, so it would be a shame to split them up, right? But we don't know much yet, and this is just an overall idea of the timeline that we're dealing with. Uh, but I do believe strongly that Toothless is gonna make a family with that female Night Fury. It's almost bound to happen. I'm not really a fan of the whole thing about the Light Fury because it seems that this movie is just um, labeling uh, being in love is more important than caring for your friends. Like when Hiccup found Astrid or found Astrid, there was always still room for Toothless. Uh, he was still his best friend, but now it seems that Toothless finds this Light Fury and he's just like, oh, this is a girl, I'll go with the girl and I'll just forget my home, forget my best friend, let's go uh, be with this girl. Um, and I think that's a shame, because that's not a nice message to teach people that when you fall in love you can just forget your friends because you will have your love for this person. Because love is a temporary thing and you should never forget your friends no matter what happens. Uh, and Tulis and Hiccup have such a strong bond, I think it's a shame. But then again, I am saying, I mean, I'm talking a lot and I still don't know much about the movie. It could be that he just finds a little girl and he's like, yeah, but he still has Hiccup on the side or, <laughs> or the girl on the side. Because we don't know if they're actually going to be split up. Uh, we just know there's a threat and Hiccup wants to disappear, but he wants everyone to disappear. So rather that, rather that's disappearing together or apart, we do not know yet. One more thing to note about the Light Fury is that he's actually not an albino, uh, as I've mentioned in some of my previous videos. Um, either she is a separate species, a Light Fury, but if she is indeed a Night Fury like Toothless, I know they're called Light Fury, but if they're the same species and those dragons are originally black, then she would be Lysistic rather than uh, albino. Being leucistic means that you're lacking certain pigments uh, in your skin and overall your overall ulterior body, um, but it does not affect the eyes, so she can still have blue eyes. I don't know why I was about to say brown there. She can still have blue eyes. Uh, she would not be able to have blue eyes if she had albinism, because albinism is a complete absence of any pigment at all. You're completely stripped from color and you just turn out white and you'll mostly be colored from your blood vessels beneath your eyes uh, or like inside of your eyes and beneath your skin. Uh, so that's albinism and it's really rare. It's much rarer than being leucistic. So she is leucistic because she has blue eyes or she's a light view where it's normal to be white. Uh, I know she's a light view but it could be the light views are still you know, originally black, and a light fusion is not really a species, it's just Astrid saying it, you know. So, either she is her own white uh, version of the Night Fury, or she is having this um, disorder, I guess you can call it, of being leucistic. Uh, so, definitely not an albino, so now we got that cleared out. Uh, but I think that's all I'm gonna say for now, because. This was just an analysis of the overall timeline and the possible plot. I'll probably do videos later where I go into detail about the Light Fury and everything there's to say about her. Uh, maybe there's something about Grimmel and his past or anything. There's a lot to take from this trail, so I just have to cut it off. And I just wanted to make an overall analysis of the plot and the timeline for this video. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe for more How to Train Your Dragon adventures. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. So long, Dragon Riders! Stop.